In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at three different ways that you could find a Synology NAS on a network. Now, the option that you use will be dependent on the scenario that you're in, meaning if you just bought your Synology NAS and you're trying to find it on your network, you're probably gonna use a different option than if your NAS has been on your network and all of a sudden you can't access it. So before we get started, I just wanna mention that I have full written instructions for this in the description of the video. Now, the first way that you can find the Synology NAS is by using the web browser and just navigating to the URL find.synology.com. Now, when you navigate to that website address, it's gonna search your local network and it's gonna see if it can find a Synology NAS. If you just purchased your NAS, this is probably the best way that you can actually access it because it's just gonna be looking for NASs on your network. However, if your NAS has already been set up, it might not actually find it this way. So I wanna be clear that this is the Synology Web Assistant. However, there's an actual Synology Assistant application that you can download to search your entire local network for Synology NAS devices. In the written instructions, I have the exact link you have to use to download this application. But when you download it, you're gonna search your entire local network and any NAS devices that are found will be displayed here. Now I wanna be clear with this option that if your NAS is using Synology's firewall, you're gonna to have to have the Synology Assistant application allowed in the firewall. If you don't have it allowed there, the Synology Assistant is not gonna find any NASs on your network. So if you think you might ever need this, it's a good idea to go into Synology's firewall and make sure you allow those ports. Now the third way that you can find a Synology NAS on your network, assuming that the first two options don't work, is that you can download an application called Angry IP Scanner. Now you don't have to use this one in specific, you can really use multiple. I know for Windows there's a application called Advanced IP Scanner, but the goal is that you just wanna make sure that you're able to search your network and find all the devices on your network. The goal with this option is that you're gonna just blanket search your entire network and all the devices on your network are gonna be displayed here. The only thing you have to confirm is after you install and open it, you have to select Tools, then Fetchers, and add the Mac vendor. The reason you're gonna do this is because at that point you're gonna see Synology listed next to it, so you're gonna know that that's your NAS. Now those are the three ways that you can find a Synology NAS on your local network. However, if it doesn't show up, there could be a problem. Now as far as what that problem might be, it could be various types of things. Three of the most common things are that the NAS is offline, meaning that it's turned off, and obviously if it's turned off, it's not gonna appear on your network. That's an easy one to fix. The second one is that the NAS has an IP address on another subnet. Now this could happen if you set a static IP address inside of your NAS itself, then you moved or you switched routers, and since DHCP wasn't selected inside of your NAS, you're not actually pulling a new local IP address. So you have two options to fix that. You can either do a soft network reset on the NAS itself, or you can just put an individual device on that subnet, connect to your Synology NAS, then you'll be able to select the DHCP option which will pull down a new local IP address and you should then be able to find your Synology NAS using any of the options that we just looked at before. The third option is obviously there could always be some sort of a hardware issue. Now we hope that this doesn't happen, however it does happen. And I wanna be clear that these are not the only three things that can you know, stop a Synology NAS from showing up on your network. There could be various others. However, these are what I'd personally classify as the top three. So I'm hoping that this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. Thanks guys.